Good evening, everybody. I hope you all have had an awesome day. I have had a very busy day. Everybody here has been, uh, Mr. Roy's been raking leaves outside and finding every reason to drive his tractor around the yard and pick up uh, big leaf bags and carry them around. He's very silly. Um, and Jacob and Kayleen, uh, let's see, Jake today, he has done lots of homework. That has been a majority of his day. He's been outside a lot though. He, Jake loves lacrosse. And so he spends tons of time outside playing lacrosse, both him and Kayleen, but he's out there as often as possible. Um, and Kayleen is one of my huge helpers. She is amazing. Um, we've been talking about helping for the past couple days uh, on my videos with all of you. And she, she does things uh, and is always surprising me. Um, because she knows, I, I can almost see how her little brain is working and really happy to help me uh, take a few things off my plate and which is very unselfish. You know, she's, she's thinking of somebody else and being very compassionate, um, empathetic. Uh, she's, she knows that uh, her dad and I have had, we have a lot to do, right? As all of your moms and dads do. Uh, they're not the only sibling. And, you know, we were, it makes everybody happier and makes life a little bit easier when everybody helps out in some way. So it is incredibly appreciated, everything that she does. Jake helps a ton too. His is a lot of his stuff. Uh, he's, you know, uh, helps with more, um, if I need something fixed or if I need heavy stuff brought in or he helps me with yard work. Um, he uh, helps Mr. Roy all the time going to the dump. So they, they do different things and they don't always do the same things. I want them to know that, you know, I don't want Kayleen in the kitchen all the time. I want Jakey doing some good cooking and doing dishes. So everybody, everybody uh, plays a part, which is awesome. So the book that I want to read tonight is called The Little Engine That Could. I love this book and I picked it because I think every day at school, whether I'm in class, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoons as Mrs. White's assistant, which I love so much, um, we always talk about, you know, the kids will say, I need help, I need help, I need help with something. Maybe they need to open something when we're eating lunch or um, they can't get the top off the glue stick. And I taught them, all right, listen, I love that you're asking for help, that's great, okay? But first, it is so important to try to do something by yourself, all right? Before you ask for help, say, I can do it. Try to open that glue stick or take the cover off your marker. Try to do those things by yourself before you ask for help, all right? Try really hard. Sometimes the glue sticks are sticking and you can't get them off very easily, but try to do it on your own. 
if you can't do it, I teach my kiddos, who can you ask for help? You have, whether you're at home or at school, you have somebody, a brother, sister, uh, or classmates, and ask somebody for help, all right? Because when you ask somebody for help, number one, you need help with something, right? But the other piece is you're teaching somebody else how to ask for help really nicely, okay? So um, so ask that person, all right? And maybe you ask your, um, your brother or sister or your friend and they can't open the glue stick. And you're like, oh, bummer. Well, thank you for thank you for trying, right? And then I want you to come to an adult. Okay? That's number 3. So the first one, you try it on your own, right? And then the second one is you ask a friend to help you. Okay? Because you never know. Uh there's a lot of people. I was like that when I was little. I didn't want to bother anybody and I was, if you can imagine, I was kind of shy, I think. Um, and I didn't like asking questions and stuff like that. So if I saw somebody else asking and kind of modeling for me, that might have made a big difference, okay? And then number three is you ask a, a grown up to help you. Okay, so remember those three things, okay? Um, because when you guys can do it on your own, that is such a huge piece to becoming more and more independent and uh, taking care of you and when you can do more and more things on your own, man, you know how we talk about happy hearts? This is one of those things, okay? When you do things on your own, boy, I bet your heart is just enormous because it feels so good, okay, to, to do things without needing help from somebody else, okay? So that is why, long story short, uh, that is why I chose the little engine that could, okay? Oh, this is definitely another loved one. Oh my goodness. All right, this one, small print. Mrs. Roy needs the glasses. Excuse me, this is where I'm at these days. All right, is everybody ready? Here we go. Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for, sh for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were full of good things for boys and girls. Oh, look at that train moving right along. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. Look, there he is. Look at all the different things in the pictures. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. Oh, I bet you guys have some of these things in your house to play with, right? 
Oh, I see some beach balls, some books. Oh, a, a cute little stuffed monkey. Ooh, airplanes. Oh my goodness. So many fun things. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red-cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfasts, fresh spinach for their dinners. I bet you all love spinach. Peppermint drops and lollipops for after dinner treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Oh, look at all those yummy things. That's making me hungry. Then, all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Oh, no. Oh. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let's ask him to help us. So all the little dolls and toys cried out together. Please, please, shiny new engine. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Ooh, what do you think? Do you think that engine's gonna help them? But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths a dining car where waiters would bring whatever hungry people wanted to eat, and parlor cars in which people sat in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you, indeed not. Oh my goodness, what do you think? That, do you think that was nice? I don't think he was being kind at all, was he? All oh, that big shiny engine. Hmm. All, all this, the little engine that could needed help. He just needs help. That wasn't nice. And off he steamed to the roundhouse where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then, the little clown called out. The passenger engine is not the only one in the world. <gasps> Here is another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Ooh, look, he's right on the tracks and waving his flag wanting, what do you think he's gonna do? Is he gonna ask that big strong engine for help? <gasps> oh, fingers crossed. Let's hope somebody helps them. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big, strong engine bellowed. I am a freight engine. 
I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. Oh my goodness, what do you all think about that? I know Mrs. Roy's heart is very sad right now hearing that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep reading. It's going to turn around, everybody. In the freight engine puffed off indignantly to the roundhouse. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. I understand. I'm kind of sad right now. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. <gasps> Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. Oh boy. Okay, everybody, cross those fingers. Cross them. We're going to hope. We're going to be hopeful that somebody's going to come along and help our little toy clown, right? So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Ooh, he does look very old, doesn't he? Oh. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. He is begging for help, isn't he? Right? But the rusty old engine sighed. <sighs> I am too tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled, chugging. I cannot, I cannot. I cannot. So I guess I feel a little better that he's just not able to help. But you know what? He didn't even try. All right, we got to keep reading. Ready? Come on, let's go. Then indeed, the little train was very, very sad. And the dolls and toys were ready to cry. Oh, no. But the little clown called out, Here is another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. Ooh, that's a good sign, right? Oh, look at that sweet little blue engine. <gasps> Friends, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that that little blue engine is going to help. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help us, little blue engine. Oh, ooh, okay, let's see. Oh, I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up 
and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. <gasps> oh, she's feeling very bad for, for the boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. I think she's showing empathy, right? She feels, she's feeling bad. Then she said, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. <gasps> oh my goodness, friends. This is very exciting. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, 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 they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the dolls and all the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Who can cheer? Yay! Come on, little blue engine, you can do it. Puff, puff, chug, chug went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster, the little engine climbed. Until at last, they reached the top of the mountain. <gasps> How do you think the little blue engine feels right now? I love all those answers. I bet happy. I bet excited. And maybe saying, phew, I didn't want to let them down, right? All right. Oh, that's wonderful. Down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. Oh, the little blue engine. Boy, oh boy. That little blue engine was so kind to help even if she thought she she wasn't even sure if she could, but she wasn't going to let them down, okay? And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. How cute. And there she is, happy, happy, happy. Aw, that was awesome. Well, I hope you all liked that story. We can add that to our little collection that I have here of great stories I get to read to you guys while, while school is closed. So I hope you're all enjoying this. I have to tell you, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at new things to talk about and um, books to read and oh my goodness I'm of course I will tell you uh, I guess I'll show you tomorrow night but I found a little book and I'm gonna have to shout out to a special teacher that I love dearly um, that that actually worked with me and we had a class together and I found a little book that all my students gave to us, made for us. And oh my goodness, yep, Mrs. Roy, she, yep, had some happy tears thinking about the, all those little kids that were with me when they were two years old. And now they're in uh, kindergarten, first grade, right? First grade. Yes, first grade, I believe. 
Oh, Miss is where I can't keep track. I've had so many sweet babies. So anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed the story. I'll show you my special little book tomorrow night, okay? And um, I will, uh, I have my request, my special request uh, for tomorrow night's story already, okay? So have a great night, everybody, and stay well, be happy, be kind, all right? Let's keep everybody's hearts nice and happy, okay? All right, I miss you all. Have a great night. Love you all.